What's up YouTube? Brian and I here to uh, talk about video games for you because that's what we do. Uh, but uh, since Call of Duty Black Ops 2 dropped not too long ago, we decided to take a look back at the whole Call of Duty franchise as a whole. Starting... Call of Duty Black Ops 2 SUCKS! The, on the online is incredibly campy nowadays, but we'll get there. Believe me, that's, that's definitely on the list of shit to talk about. But... We're going to go all the way back to the very first one, which i got to dig deep into my memory banks here and remember what the... But yeah, Call of Duty has been around for, I don't know, 10 plus years now, and uh, it's a great series, apart until you get the multiplayer, but... <laughs> um, but... Multiplayer seems to bring out the worst in people. I mean, I've said very mean things to people without actually thinking about it, but that's not the point. <clears throat> But uh, going back to Call of Duty, the very first one ever, it was it was your basic World War II fighting game. I mean, the first three were, pretty much. So, talking about all those if they, as if they were different, different would be, well, you can't. They're pretty much all the same, it's just the characters are different. And, but otherwise, the settings are the same, the guns are the same. But uh, those three really helped get the franchise going, and Activision has an incredible wealth because of those games, because of what they started, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alright, I started playing Call of Duty probably in Call of Duty 4. Yeah, that's um, cool. I loved that game. It was a deep passion of mine. I used to play that for long hours, not do homework, and just sit there and rape shit online. Uh, I, what I really liked about the game was the fact that it was not in World War II. It was something, like, it was actually pertaining to real life, kind of, you know. Before you go any farther, World at War, Call of Duty World at War, one of my favorites. It introduced the zombies, I port, World War. but yeah, I did, and uh, zombies is one of the greatest things a Call of Duty game can have. It is so much fun. I mean, I am, I am shitty at it, but I will gladly sit down with a couple of my buddies and get killed just to see how far we can make it. But, the, but Zombies is f fun, and it was really upsetting when, like, they didn't really make Black Ops before there was just Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. They didn't have zombies on those. They had these Spec Ops missions, which... Were uh, lame! Which, yeah, they, were, they weren't that cool, but they were fun to play, especially if you wanted to be a 100% completionist like I always try to be and sit down with a buddy it's like, alright, we're getting all three stars on all of these missions and I don't care what you say. Right, but like, I see, the thing I thought about was like, bad about it, the Spec Ops missions is like, you could play through them once and then, like, what what do you do after that? You know, you go and you replay it and it's the same mission over and over again. Zombies, at least, you know, you, you can't really predict zombie movement patterns. I mean, you kind of. I mean, you kind of can. You can lead them around and whatnot and shit like that. But yeah, I don't know. It just seems zombies have more replay value than spec spec ops. Yeah, because like the zombies maps. I mean, all of them. I mean, like once you've played a zombies map once and unlocked everything, you know what's gonna happen. You know how it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. But like, and there's there's like special shit you can unlock in uh -huh. those zombies maps. So, like little Easter eggs and stuff like that. One of my favorite zombies maps is on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. It's called Ascension. And spaceship and shit. That's a lot of fun. Because I used to really like space as a little kid. I've kind of grown out of that phase, unfortunately. Because I'd still love to go to space. I'm never going to go. Because... Don't think like that! <laughs> what? Come I mean, on! I don't have the qualifications to be an astronaut. But that's not the point. But, uh, yeah, like... Call of Duty Black Ops was really a major stepping stone in getting, like, zombies back into the forefront. And the, the story mode for that game is pretty good, too. Not gonna, and like, not gonna lie here. I mean, I like the story for Call of Duty Black Ops. Okay. I gotta say something that's kind of lackluster for the Call of Duty series. The storyline. To me, all of the storylines have been shitty as shit compared to other games, you know, I, I play other games and I really get into them, but Call of Duty, it's like, oh, mission, shoot shit, you save the world. 
I suppose I can't argue with that because he's right, actually. But like the multiplayer and this, like all this other stuff you can do other than the storyline, it makes games fun. Very fun. I mean, like Call of Duty multiplayer is fun to a point. <laughs> There's a lot of bitches out there. Yeah. And we're only, call, we're only saying that because we suck. Alright, we are bad at video games, for the most part. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so we rage hardcore. When so, we when there's, all, there's always that one person that's always, like, the highest prestige with the best guns a month after the game has been out, like Black Ops 2, who just kills everyone, and that, that, that's very annoying to us. No fun. No fun. Cause I'm just there, minding my own business, having a good time. All of a sudden, kabah, dead, like seventeen times. You know, all I want to do is run around and occasionally kill someone. What yeah. ends up happening is me running around, running in those fucking little mines on the ground. Yeah. Fuck those things. <laughs> yeah, Brian was raging pretty bad yesterday about that shit. You know, we're gonna have to put up a rage video for you guys, but yeah. we don't have a capture card, so there we go. Yeah. Or a headset to even capture our voice. <laughs> to capture our voices once we do get that. You could just see us go like, throw shit at walls and whatnot. See, I have not done that in a long time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you have thrown your phone, though. I throw my phone. I don't care. <laughs> He yeah. gives no shits. I don't give no fucks. But what I... The, the online for Call of Duty games, more recently, is definitely the downfall. Not that it's bad. It's just that people don't play it in a fun way. Well, I, I just feel like they've added too much. Like, airstrikes, killstreaks, and things like that. In Call and, of Duty 4, you had yeah, three killstreaks. Yeah, three of them suckers. And if you got the third one, you couldn't even use the first two that you got. I mean, it's that that makes sense to me. And if there's one there's one thing that can be in the air at one time, I mean, it just it, it was less chaos, less mass explosions, and less of me dying. But what was I gonna say here? Yeah, the Call of Duty games—they've been around for a long time. And they're fun to play. Very fun. And they're very easy to get mad at, because when Call of Duty Black Ops first one came out, I got so mad at it, I stopped playing it for like three months. Like, brand new. Just got it. It pissed me off so bad that I just quit playing it, straight up. And then I, and I eventually went back and was a lot better than I thought I was, but... That's, um... That's really all I've got to say. It's a good franchise that's been keeping... Everyone entertained for ten better part of a decade. Yeah, well, it's been at least a decade because they were on the original PS2. I don't know when that came out. A long time ago. But that's not the point here. The point is we've officially run out of things to talk about, so we'll be back. Peace. <laughs>